uh, today's vlog is an interesting one. This is a super, super quick everyday makeup tutorial. Um, I usually have Caitlin who does my makeup on set and half the time if you watch my Insta stories you'll know if I'm not getting my makeup done on set, I'm not wearing any makeup at all. Every once in a while I have to run downtown for a meeting or go out for dinner and I like to keep my makeup routine super, super simple. So this is kind of what I wear 80 to 90% of the time when I'm doing my own makeup. Um, follow along, let me know what you think. This is again an everyday makeup, nothing super glamorous, but again helps with the bags, helps with your face feeling, you know, even texture, tone, having a little bit of bronze, and you have to wait till the very end because I'm going to share my two items that I absolutely could not live without, and I feel like if you just had these two items, you'd be good to go. Okay, so first things first, you got to start with your Chelsea King scrunchie. You all know I'm a huge fan of Chelsea King scrunchies. And usually I do my hair after I do my makeup, but today I was too self-conscious. I had to do my hair first, but I always start by putting my hair up um, so I can see my whole face and that I don't miss any spots. I put it in a nice big top knot, uh, nice and loose so it doesn't get any crimping. Uh, here's what I do with my face routine in the morning. Usually I'm in a rush, so I keep things pretty, pretty quick. Um, right now I've got the Lavender Relaxing Mist by Sage. You can use the Rose Mist or any of your favorite natural mists. This is my favorite. Um, might not be the best for the morning because it is a bit relaxing and you might need to pick up your pace a bit. But right now we're gonna spritz with some lavender. One of the first products that I use is SkinCeuticals. Um, I use this product as my one of my main skincare lines. Um, it is, this is the CE Frolic, and I just give myself a couple drops of that. not how you're supposed to apply it, but give it a bit of a, it's going to get your neck and your chest too. Um, I am definitely not a beauty blogger by any means, and I definitely am not the best person to talk to when it comes to skincare. This is just my routine and what has worked for me. Um, the next product that I'm really loving is if I don't use the SkinCeuticals Daily Moisture, um, use, I use a Tata Harper. One thing I love about Tata Harper, it is mostly all natural. They are 100% vegan and cruelty free, and it's a really great high-end product. So um, I'll put a little bit of that on my fingertips. I don't really use an eye cream or anything like that. I don't have time for that nonsense. We are ready for some makeup. So we're gonna start with foundation um, first. This is new, this is the first time I'm trying it out today, but I've heard lots of great things about it. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. This would actually be really great for me on set. Caitlin, I'm bringing this to work. I'm gonna see if you like this one. Really, really, you know, when Caitlin does my makeup, she, you know, is very detailed and makes sure and gets all the nooks and crannies. I usually just put a tiny dollop on my hand. I don't love using a beauty blender. I either use my fingers or I'll use a little brush. So in this case, I've got this brush here. This is a Glow Minerals brush. So Glow Minerals, this would be a vegan brush. So that's that. I don't totally overanalyze it. I don't like doing a ton of foundation. I don't want it to look too cakey but I've got a few little spots here that I need to touch up. So I'll use something like this, a concealer stick for under my eyes and for my blem blemishes. So I'll just give it a couple hits like this. So typically at this point in time, I would probably use my fingers, uh, but Caitlin, my makeup artist, hates it when I do that. So I went today and got myself a beauty blender. So let's see how that bad boy works. I don't know. You're supposed to get it wet. Oh. Let's use our fingers. <laughs> I don't have time for that. And then you gotta clean the damn thing. No, nobody has time for that. There, look at that. Use my fingers. I just saved you guys like $30. I think those things are expensive. There, use my fingers. Next would be bronzer. So I love bronzer. Funny story, when I first started Love It or List It, 
I would over bronze all of the time and I would tell Caitlin to put more bronzer and more bronzer on me and she would go back to her makeup kit and pretend to go like this and pretend to bronze me and she was actually not bronzing me because she felt like I overdid it. And if you go back and look, you'll see I'm actually orange. What I'll do with my bronzer is I'll just give it a little bit of a hit and then, oh God, hopefully I do this right. I'll just do my cheekbones, my temples, up on my forehead, do my jawline just to contour your jawline just a little bit because I am self-conscious of my double chin. And then sometimes I'll go in at the very end with a little bit of a thinner brush. I have a different one, but I'm not sure. And I'll just do my nose and I'll contour my nose just a little bit. But I don't like to overdo it because when you see people in person and they've tried to contour, you can see that. And you don't want it like you want to look natural, right? So that's about it for bronzer. Does it look even? I think so. Next for me is blush. So I've got two different options for blush. Uh, my two options right now for blush are both a really like peachy orange um, tone. And I just love that for this time of year. I just think it makes you look bronzed and sun-kissed. Um, in the winter, I'll use something a little bit more red and rosy. So these are the two different options. One is Nude by Nature and the other one is Tarte. Uh, we've got Cashmere Pressed Blush Desert Rose. And this one's called Sensual. It's a new by nature. So I use the same blush brush, but there is another one by um, Charlotte Tilbury. This one's called Cheek Hug. I just want to show you how this works. You press it down into your blush, and then it basically hugs your cheek. So you can use that, which is great, or you can use the same damn brush that you used for your bronzer, which to me, I feel like is even a little bit more it blends in a little bit better. Okay, so I had my eyes, um, my eyebrows tattooed about two years ago, um, and I do have to get them touched up, so now I start filling them in again. Anastasia Beverly Hills, uh, I use the medium brown uh, eyebrow pencil. I love this, I've been using it for a really long time. Not only does it work good, but again, it's cruelty free. So, uh, eyebrows. So, um, Caitlin always does my eyebrows better than I can, but remember we're in a rush and I don't have Caitlin, so. The eyebrows, I feel like they're so important. And I feel like I'm kind of brushing them right now. I don't know why, but I think I did okay. If they're off center, you could tell right away. That's okay, you can just keep filling them in. Big, big eyebrows are in. Sometimes I don't even do mascara or eyeliner. I'll just go straight to lipstick and be done with it. Uh, eyeliner. I used to use the Sephora brand liquid eyeliner and I loved it, but I've recently switched to this, this Kat Von D version um, and it's called the Ink Liner. And I switched only because she does not test on animals, and the Sephora brand does. So um, we're gonna give this a try, this is my first time, so give me a moment. But I like using a liquid liner, and I like to go really, really close to my waterline, and just do a slight cat eye, but nothing too dramatic. Let's see how I can do here under pressure. So this um, mascara is the Charlotte Tilbury mascara. They don't test on animals. It's one of my favorites. This is called Legendary Lashes Volume 2. So we'll just do a couple. I usually don't curl my eyelashes, but I do have thick eyelashes naturally. So if you're somebody that curls your eyelashes, then obviously do that before you put on your mascara. You see the two different eyes? One eye. I kind of, for summertime, still like the no makeup look, but anyway, let's finish the other eye. So I'm gonna show you the full look.
Okay, so we're nearly done. Um, we did our eyeliner, we did our mascara. Last two steps are lips. So people always ask me what I'm wearing on my lips. Always, always, always. And this one product here, I pretty much don't leave the house without. This is the Glow Minerals Suede Matte Crayon in Trademark. This is one of my favorites and this is one of my last steps. Um, is putting on a little bit of lip. What I love about it is it's matte, so it looks really natural. It lasts for hours and hours and hours. It's amazing. They don't test on animal animals. It's just the perfect shade. The trademark is the perfect shade. It's just it doesn't really look like you're wearing anything. And you can't go wrong with any of their suede colors. So a few of my other favorites are Crush and um, Sorbet. So when my lips are like super like pinky purple, that's usually what I'm wearing. Um, another favorite of mine is the Charlotte Tilbury. They're also very matte. Um, so Charlotte Tilbury has some beautiful uh, lip colors in all different shades and um, they're nice and matte and really neutral looking. So those are some of my favorites as well. I like to use um, like a brightening, an under eye brightener at the very end, especially if you've got bags. Um, there's lots of great ones out there. One of my favorites used to be the MAC under eye, um, but I stopped using MAC because they sell the China. So this one is by Glow Minerals. It's called High Beam and I'll just put a little bit under my eyes. It looks super, super intense, um, but I'll just put that on at some point. And then um, you blend that in a little bit. Use my fingers, Caitlin will be kidding me right now. You wanna finish off with a setting powder. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush. Um, so you just set, and right before you let down your hair, back to your sage lavender. So that just kind of sets everything. There's a lot of really great setting powders out there. Urban Decay has a really good one. If you're going out at night and you really want it to set, it's basically hairspray for your face. Um, I'm all out right now, but it's one of my favorites. But if you're going for a nice day dewy look that you want to set your makeup, you can just use the sage um, face toner. So pull your hair down. How did I do? I think it looked better than it did before, so I think that's that's a good thing. And you want to know about those two products I couldn't live without? Out of all those products, definitely the trademark lips and where is it? An under eye concealer. So I think if you can get your under eyes looking like you had a nap or like you got rest and give your lips a little bit of a boost, I think you can go out in public and look presentable. So again, these are all cruelty-free products, products that I have been using for a while that I really enjoy. If you have any questions, any comments, any criticism, any tips on how I could do this better, please comment in the comments below. If you liked that uh, tutorial, please subscribe and check out some of my other tutorials. And don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks, guys.